what's up? It's Shani with Healing Elements and sitting here on a beautiful day. My son's birthday, shout out. Happy birthday, Marcus. It's August 10th, 2020 and I'm coming to you today about another journal entry and just something that is in my thoughts today and has been actually brought up by many people either, you know, on YouTube, Instagram, in real life, in conversations, in texts, and it's a very common theme. A lot of, you know, um, destruction has been caused by division, and it's so important, I think, to always, as I do on my channel, put things into perspective with analogies and try to show something in a very unusual light and just bring attention to how I feel. So I wanted to talk today about, you know, the effects of our thoughts, the effects of our actions, and the effects of our even intentions, you know, the energy that we send, the intent through the universe, through vibrations of, you know, immense proportion. So in comparison, I wanted to talk about the destructive force of a boulder or some large massive object, even an iceberg, falling into the water that can have sometimes often catastrophic effects, tidal waves, tsunamis. It can wreak havoc on the landscape around it and change the dynamic and sometimes very damaging and, you know, climatic altering ways. The same can be said if we're talking about a calm pond and you're tossing a pebble. So a pebble tossed in or skipped over water can not only be beautiful because of the ripples that are gentle, soothing to look at, it can also be felt on all of the water's edges very gently and be received very, very kindly and with no destructive cause and or effect because of that pebble, right? So the comparison is regarding our thoughts, actions, and intentions can either be as soft and gentle, but same way effective as our thoughts, intentions, and actions can be boulders, very abrasive, very destructive, very negative. And this goes with not only you know, negative and positive interactions or conflicts with people. It even goes with, you know, our calling, our cause, our chosen path or the way our protocol, our procedures on how we do things. So, you know, anything that we do, just like they say, you know, our footprint on this earth and the environment is possible to be done either with a gentle rippling effect like the pebble or with a very abrasive, destructive, forceful, forcing things to change and be destroyed and wreak havoc and chaos at times by a boulder or some large object, again, like an iceberg breaking away and affecting not only the water, but affecting that in which the water, the collective body of water touches all the edges. So I just feel it imperative now and super common again of a subject right now, not only in the spiritual, so-called spiritual community or Instagram family or YouTube family of mine that I have, I see it everywhere, obviously in the world, division and division isn't the problem. There's always going to be opposition. People's opinions are going to differ. The thing in which this podcast is about today is regarding how we approach making our voice heard or our, you know, pathway that we choose to be received. And it can be done with gentle ripple effect where You know, it is as calm and serene as the scene skipping a pebble over a beautifully still lake in the morning with mist on top. And you just see the beauty of the pebble not really affecting 
it in a negative way at all, just skipping over the water surface, landing and causing beautiful, perfectly symmetrical ripples and, you know, waves that are, again, not dangerous and probably said to be true, very soothing and calming and fun on some water's edge, perhaps even a little wave where you can body surf and find joy and happiness or at least feel like you are not being attacked in which ever way that pebble is being tossed. So with anything that is dividing people right now, whether it be politics, the coming election, whether it be the pandemic, the COVID, whether it be, you know, wearing a mask, whether it be conspiracies, whether it be the way in which for me, it's been talked about a lot. Shout out to Aiden on YouTube, just did a video of exactly what I was thinking. It can also be said where you can do your own thing, stay in your lane in the spiritual community and use your gifts in the way that you choose and what calls out to you. Or you can be abrasive, like a boulder, an iceberg, and really forcefully feed people a narrative and state that that is the only way in which to do things. So it's just beautiful to know that we all have a choice to either, you know, be a pebble in our thoughts, actions, and intentions, or be a boulder and be, you know, thoughtless instead of thoughtful, not caring about the tsunami that may ensue to the collective surrounding environment the water, the landscape, the people or entities sharing our planet on the water's edge. That's the metaphor I wanted to bring because everybody is, you know, as to the end of time, everybody is always, in my opinion, entitled to have their own say and their own opinion on whatever it may be. The way in which we deliver this can be like a gentle ripple from a pebble or it can be like a tsunami and do perhaps more destruction than the subject that which divides us, right? So I just really feel like in a really good place, trying to be that pebble, trying to even in the midst of a tsunami or in the midst of, you know, catastrophe, like a metaphoric, um, you know, global warming, where there's just cascading icebergs coming down into the water and really doing destruction and making it so entities like polar bears cannot survive and thrive, right? I feel like amidst that, it's so important if you're listening to this, if you're vibing, if you're feeling at all as if you're on your own pathway, you're staying in your lane. However, it is, you know, in the middle of a hurricane, in the middle of a cascading iceberg and you feel crushed because you're, you know, perhaps unusual or your particular modality or your particular way of thinking or your particular cause is very, very isolated and soul. You know, you're the soul party who feels that. None of that matters as long as you continue even through the effects of the tsunami through the effects of the destructive abrasive crashing down of a large boulder into the water you can still be that person that others even if they are you know sleepwalking if they are negative if they are so angry because they haven't processed something or if they are just unable to get past looking at any other perspective but their own due to pride still show the way be the truth be you do you for you but also be that pebble and make those calming soothing beautiful rippling vibrational effects even when you're in the eye of the storm guys so that is my quick podcast for today before i go and enjoy beautiful outdoor dining setting with my son for his birthday and yes you know um, this could be received when I leave you off with this fact it can be received positively or negatively but 
I honor your truth. Namaste. However, my family and I, I definitely will remain in my truth as far as wearing a mask, as far as being conscious of how many deaths are occurring. I feel that it may be wasting too much time, guys, to argue over the what, if, why, and how to anything, whether it be, you know, conspiracies, whether it be the way in which you read tarot cards, whether it be whether or not it is relevant on the day you're born where the stars are placed, right? I think so much argument that are, you know, bolder type of conflicting energetic arguments are, there's just too many of them. It's so wasteful when truly, if we all symbiotically were pebbles, it genuinely would only affect each other in gentle ways. And even if two pebbles are thrown in completely different directions and the ripples meet and collide, well, you know what? It's a gentle collision. And maybe those two, you know, ripples of water of vibrations can meet in the middle and learn a little bit from each other. So that's what I want to leave you off with, Soul Fam. I am wishing you nothing but love, nothing but light always. Positive intentions is all I want to bring to my channel. And I just keep on getting more motivated, of course, as we go through all of these traumas and very challenging times in 2020. You know, the shit gets harder, guys. So I will, with all my power, try to remain that pebble. And hey, if you have to throw a boulder, we'll do another podcast on, you know, cleaning up after the tsunami, after the tidal wave comes. There's always that. But, you know, be the example and be the pebble, guys. Take care of yourselves. And as always, much, much love and appreciation for everything that you do for me and the collective through the universe and also on my YouTube and Instagram channels, guys. Bye-bye.